If you remember from the previous app, some of the styles that we were doing were kind of tedious. You know, we were trying to add in that blue background, but it wasn't quite, you know, what we wanted. And, and there was a lot of work that was involved in terms of getting our styles up and running. Now, no one really wants to build their own styles library, <laughs> um, but sometimes it's necessar necessary and sometimes it's not. That's why what we're going to do now is we're going to download something called Native Base. What Native Base is, if you go, go ahead and just Google it and uh, Google Native Base, and it'll bring you to this website. And then I'm going to go to Docs here. What Native Base is is basically a uh, free library, an open source library, where you can just get really nice styles right out of the box. Um, all you got to do is call the components in, and you can get some really nice styles. You don't have to do really any serious styling work, and you can get like a really nice looking app right away. So what we're going to do is once you go to Native Base. Uh, I'm going to go to components here. Uh, I'll start just showing you some of the components that they offer. Uh, they give you, you know, cards. So if you've ever wanted like a card uh, that looks really nice on your app, maybe you're trying to build something like that's like like Facebook or Twitter or uh, floating action buttons are something that I like to take advantage of when I'm I'm, I'm building uh, apps. Um, just better uh, form labels. So you know, in the last app we had that text input and it was kind of ugly and stuff. They have some really nice uh, text input boxes uh, pre-built for you and all you got to do is call it in. So we're going to take advantage of this. And in order to do that, you got to open up your terminal or uh, command prompt if you're on Windows. Now if you're on Windows, again, you're going to have to do a little bit of maybe uh, searching exactly how to change directories. But if you're on Mac, just follow along here. Um, if you hit C, if you type in CD, it's going to change to your root directory, which is where your profile is located. We're going to go ahead and change onto our desktop, and just go and find where this Pokey Search folder is located. If you know where it is, you know, go ahead and find it. Uh, I know where it is on my computer, so I'm going to search into the I think it was Course Videos, and then uh, it's uh, Pokey Search in here. Pokey Search. Yep, that's it right there, and. If I type ls, I can list out everything that's inside that folder, and I see that this is indeed uh, the Pokey Search folder that I'm looking for. So once I'm here, once I'm at this root level here, um, I'm going to uh, add in that native base package using Yarn. Uh, assuming you got Yarn installed, like I told you to, uh, at, you know, one of the first videos in the course, all you got to do is say Yarn, add native hyphen base. And just hit enter, and what's going to happen is Yarn is going to go out into the internet, uh, go to the uh, open source registry, and grab native base and install it for you inside of this node modules folder. So you'll see once this is done downloading and installing, which it is now, if I go into node modules and scroll all the way down, uh, it's alphabetical here, N, N, N. There's native base. So I just downloaded, oh geez, I just downloaded native base using Yarn pretty easily. So I don't have to do any, you know, difficult installing. I don't have to make sure the files are in the right place. Um, Yarn takes care of that for me, which is really the great thing about modern package managers. Okay, so once you got that installed, um, we will go ahead and let's see, what should we add in first? Um, We'll go ahead and just add in a button just to show you exactly what's going on here. So if you look at the top here, have the simulator open. If you look at the top, we're just going to quickly import this. Um, let me try and turn down my computer a little bit. Uh, just go ahead and import button from native base, just like this. And then go ahead and write button, button, it's not self-closing. Inside here, write whatever you want inside the button. We can say, hello world. Save it. And on the iOS, we're going to get a nice native base button drawn up for us immediately. My computer is really running slow right now. And you can even hear that fan uh, firing up. I'm not sure why it might have to do with... Uh... Oh, uh, so notice it did say, must be wrapped inside a text component. That's actually my fault. I have to wrap this inside text here. So I'm using text inside the button. Um, there's got to be some, something inside there. So I'm going to rerun this. And the reason why my computer is probably like firing up right now is because when I just installed native base, it had to export that to Expo. Um, and sometimes that takes a little bit longer and a little bit more intensive on your CPU. So uh, I already have a nice, beautiful blue button right here, and I didn't have to do anything for it. I didn't have to style it. 
All I had to do was call a button from native base. If I want to add styles, I can, but uh, I don't have to. It's already styled up nicely for me. Now we're not going to use this button, but I just wanted to show you an example of how it works. In the next video, we'll uh, start using native base a little bit more and uh, styling up the app to get where we need to go.